We are from Synpaxis and uh, we, we are producing uh, micro modules from which you can assemble your own synthesizer, for example on breadboard, but not only on breadboard. Uh, we have also some boards pre prepared for building your uh, full synthesizer, done uh, without uh, soldering from uh, your side. But here now you can say you can see how we are assembling uh, synthesizer on breadboard, how it's done. So here you saw a simple path done with one VCO and one VCF. Now we will be adding a VCA for the, uh, as the end of our uh, audio path. Now we are repatching uh, VCF output to VCA input. And VCA input will be patched to uh, output module. And now we have a full audio path uh, in which we can uh, uh, generate sound with uh, specific frequency, specific uh, spectrum. Uh, done, it's done by filtering by VCF and, by, and for specific uh, uh, sound, for specific volume, uh, which is regulated by VCA. For further modules, we have to uh, use some longer jumper wires to uh, patch uh, power supply to the next uh, parts of breadboard. Because on the rest of uh, on the lower buses, we have only plus five volt and ground.
Here comes the ADS sound. Now we have patched uh, ADSR module. Now, so uh, next step is adding uh, a mini jack for uh, gate input. Now we are connecting uh, non-inverting output of ADSR to the control voltage input of uh, VCA. Now we have functioning ADSR. Now we are adding LFO, which is used for generating uh, various modulation signal. Uh, it, uh, it's similar to VCO, but it's much slower and it generates just like VCO so to uh, triangle wave and also pulse wave but it also generates uh, inverted so to wave because it's uh, it can be useful for uh, modulations as well Micro LFO also needs uh, voltage control, so we will also use uh, potentiometer configured in uh, voltage divider.
So, that's the guy of Syntaxis from Poland. Their micro modules are quite awesome and they are available at Exploding Shed online shop for DIY.